All right, what is up, guys? Uh, I thought I'd take some time, you know, adding my two cents on these Disney original remakes because of this new Aladdin trailer that just dropped kind of started the conversation that we've been having since they've already announced these ones in production about if those Disney original movies are necessary, if they're needed, why are they doing this? Um, and I'll definitely touch on Aladdin and specific films in general when it comes to these Disney remakes. But I thought I'd just start off without a script, without notes, just kind of shoot from the hip a little bit and talk to you guys about this whole debate in general. Now, the thing when it comes to fans and specifically casual fans and they go Hollywood you're not putting out anything original it's all sequels it's all remakes it's all comic book movies it's all source based stuff and the reason they do that and it is very simple is money the movies like this make a lot more money than the original shit the, these original screenplays just don't make the money and you can complain and say well what the fuck but if I'm asking 9 out of 10 people what the last 5 cinema films they saw most of these movies are going to be either comic book movies, remakes, or sequels. And that's things that suck about Hollywood. Not about Hollywood, because I can understand, but about f just casual fans. It comes down to pricing, I know that as well. But they, it's kind of all just a, a mess right now, and I understand that. But there's been so many original scripts that have been so damn good that just don't get the, the, the light to see it. A lot of people complain that when it comes to the Oscars. They go, no one saw this film because the casual fan doesn't go to see these films, and that's why they're remaking films like these Disney live-action films. Now, when it comes to these films specifically, a lot of people are saying you're ruining classics. You're, you know, messing with absolutely phenomenal made Disney original animation classics. That's pretty much the, the end-all be-all when it comes to that movie. And I, if people are saying, oh, I won't see it, or you're going to ruin the franchise. And I, I, I thought like that. And I, when I see stuff like that, I do think of that. But then I th think of something. Are they deleting these original movies? No. Can I turn around and just pick out Aladdin and watch that whenever I fucking want? Yes. Can I pick out The Lion King? Yes. Beauty and the Beast? Yes. Jungle Book? They're not getting rid of anything. They're not deleting these products from th the internet or your hard copies. They're not going around and going, this is the only movie you can see this is the Aladdin you'll know, they're creating a new world that we haven't seen before. When it comes to movies like Aladdin, like Lion King, like Jungle Book, Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, and they, they're creating new worlds and new fans that people don't want to go back and go, I'm not really a, you know, a cartoon fan, or I don't want to watch these classic cartoons, which is fair enough, as amazing as they are. So you're creating a whole new world of fans that get to come in and, you know, whether it's a five-year-old, 10-year-old, even a 15, 30, 40 year old person that gets to come in and see this thing and go, this is something I got to saw. Uh, you know, I was born in 1998. I never got to see Aladdin, uh, Lion King, all those classics. I didn't get to see them in the cinema. I didn't. And I got to grow my own classic, Monsters Inc., Incredibles. I know we're moving to Pixar for a second, Toy Story 3 I saw in the cinemas. And they're some of my favorite all time films because I get to grow up and go, well, that was what a childhood like. And I know you can go and say, well, you can watch these films when you're older, and I did. That's why I love Aladdin. Aladdin is my favorite animation of all time. Uh, but being in the cinema and growing these characters out of the blue you've never seen before is something so magical that I, 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 I say, you know, why not? Why are we not... Why do we have a problem with these live-action remakes? They're not taking anything away. And I know, yes, you can say, well, they're not going to be as good. You know, what if they do it bad? Okay, cool. Go back and watch the original Aladdin. Go back and watch the original Beauty and the Beast if you didn't like the new one. There's always going to be something there if you loved and you say, why are they doing it again? If you don't like it, don't watch it. Now, I get it. You go, oh, I'm, I'm going to boycott these movies. At least see it once. If you don't like it, fair enough. Don't watch it again. Go back to the original. But you can create something so magical and awesome out of these new original films. From the ones that have come out, um, it kind of started with with Cinderella. I know they did uh, Maleficent, but that was kind of not directly Sleeping Beauty. It was more Maleficent. Cinderella, I didn't see. Um, Alice in Wonderland, I know, is there as well. as a bit before, uh, and I wasn't, you know, that was all right. Um, but The Jungle Book, I really, really enjoyed that film. I think I had it third on my best films to then 16. I loved that film. John Favreau did a magical job. Uh, Beauty and the Beast slimly missed out on my top 10, I believe. Um, but I, I, I really enjoyed that film as well. And, you know, it, it's not always going to hit. And movies like Dumbo, I'm probably not going to love as much. I was never a big fan of Dumbo. 
that even if this Aladdin film and these Lion King films aren't as good, I'll go back and watch the others. So that's why it makes me excited to see, okay, they're creating something new. They're creating something fresh and live action. And there's, you know, as much as you can have so much magic on the animation screen, I think you can get more magic of seeing what could be you do it. If you're a little girl and you see a cartoon, you go, cool. But if you see... Emma Watson playing Beauty and the Beast, you go, I want to be her one day. And i that's the magic we need to create with these movies, and I'm fine with them doing this. Now, I'll quickly touch on the Aladdin trailer, because that was the full trailer we saw. I loved this new trailer, and I was one that didn't really like the snippets with Saw. I, I, I think Genie looked a bit dodgy, but he wasn't really my problem. Dafar is still ridiculous, and that's still why I think this movie, you know, glimmers on not being as great. Um, but... I liked his what we saw out of he out of out of Will Smith's genie. He's not trying to be a copy of Robin Williams, trying to create his own character, which I'm fine because no one can step in Robin Williams' shoes. And this movie looks great from that third trailer, this last one they dropped within a day ago. It looks really, really good. So I definitely recommend seeing that trailer. I'm excited to see this movie. I think Dumbo within the next three weeks or four weeks is coming out. Then we have a land in May. And I think June or July is Lion King. So we have a bunch of things. Some of the greatest, most people say Lion King is one of the greatest animations ever made. Aladdin is my favorite. We have a lot to look forward to. And I just say, just even if you don't like it and you walk out and go, that was shit, that, that shit on the original, cool. I understand it. And I'll say the same thing if these movies are bad, I will say that's disrespect to the original. But you know what doesn't change is the original. So go back and enjoy that. But just have a fun time with these originals. Even if they fuck them up, give them a chance. Um, because Disney are generally pretty good. And I think they've delivered on on these last two in Jungle Book and Beauty and the Beast. So I definitely recommend you guys going in with a, with a grain of salt and enjoying these films. Thank you guys for watching. This is a bit of a, a different kind of video. I just wanted to do something slightly different. I didn't have anything to review this week. I didn't have any Blu-ray stuff urgently needed to put out. So I thought I'd just do this video for you guys. Um, any new watchers, uh, press that subscribe button. If you liked this film, this film, if you like this review, let me know below. Let me know what you're excited to see or not excited to see when it comes to live action remakes. Even your thoughts, let me know below. I've rambled for long enough. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.